goes to show they're some of the biggest selling characters. I think and even they're not selling that much. Yeah, I think these are like when the um, Cyber Gears came out. Since they're ugly, no one really cares about them. Sure, they like, oh my gosh, I won, and then they're like, oh, it's ugly, let's sell it, and then doesn't sell, and then they get depressed, and then three months after, since it's so rare, it gets sales through the roof, and now it's over three mil for Bob, and that's sad. I actually came across a very good deal on Cyber Gears yes, um, the other day. I came across the um, main bit and the goggles for Cecilia, um, both are a mil each. I still say it's a ripoff. I, I bought them and I sold them for a mil profit. So I was happy. Yeah, and it's also the same as Roses. And um, the strangely like, enough, the take USBs... Michael for example. He um he bought the Rose for Nell for fifty k. And then he took a break on Panya for a little bit. Like a month. And then he came back and it was worth like three mil, so. Well, I was actually, like, the f I logged in. I went on the shop and looked around. The first shop I opened, someone was selling it for 700k. And then the second shop I opened, um, someone selling it for 850. I'm like, oh my god. And then I sold it for 950. And then I looked around, f like, every other shop sold it for like 1.9. And I was like, ah, oh. but I'm like, oh, well, at least I got, I got some profit, but it's still crazy how they went up. Just at least those look good though. Yeah, they actually do look awesome. Um, take the U-plugs, for example. Um, I say well, what they did with the U-plugs was wrong. They should have changed, like in the other servers, they changed the, the Papal Shop when all the Papal Shop came out. But for us, they kept, they kept it the same. So that made... That made U plugs drop down in rarity so much. That's why you can find a U plug for so cheap right now. Yeah. There's always a there's always this few people that think, oh, this worth it's no longer no longer gettable, it's worth a mil now. No, it's but, worth nine 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 nine. Yeah. But that's false. It's only worth I I bought Coos. Three fifty. Not I, I bought it for two hundred the other day. Yeah. So that goes to show that Cool. But I have to be honest. We when we got the um, the USBs and the crowns, um, they had auto papal. So even though the rates might not be higher than the other papals, more people are just going to willing to you know click auto, spend fifty k, most likely win a rare, or in their second um, second round of fifty they'll win a rare and just minimize Pena and go off to do something, come back and they got a rare. So I think seeing as that it's less work to get a rare, they're appearing more, and that's why yeah. I think the. Um, the the are not going to sell very much. Yeah, and the roses they sold so much because that was they before. Were, that was before they had auto papal. Yeah. So take it for example, I, back when it was a auto when no no papal was around, I you used to spend like a night just trying, just sitting there clicking those irritating little dolphini balls over and over again just to win a rare. And when you run a rare, you're like, oh yay! Yeah. Um. Then when you run it, you get so excited and happy. It's like... But see, to be honest, I think that's why they're not going to bring back Black Papal or and um, Clear Papal. Because too many people are going to win them. I know it won't really affect their sales or anything, but they still want to the item to be rare. So then, you know... People use spinning cubes and buy Keys of Fortune. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's probably why they'll never bring it back. Thanks for depressing me again. You're welcome. So big and Very good. <laughs> Go die to hole. <laughs> um, so that's basically it for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed. I think so. Remember, um, we've got the guild up now. We're also working on getting a website up at the moment as well. Yeah. Um, I'll put uh, like I'll put the um the thingy in the description below, the and I'll also put the URL on the video like now. So. You can check that out. Sorry that it's a long URL, but you just have to click on it. And just um, we'll be posting. Um, if you're in our guild, we we'll be posting um, things like events and prizes and the winners and giveaways and stuff like that on the website. And we'll also be posting, of course, the Papal podcast videos and just 
general updates about Pangyao and what we think. So I really hope you enjoyed this. And we're also interested in what you guys think as well. And yes. We, um, is there any actually questions, Michael, that need to be answered? Yes, we have um, a question from the user of Jerry Jacks from the forums. Um, he says, a few questions for you guys. What do you think of the events that are posted only on forums, Facebook, Twitter, etc.? Are they good? Should we have more? Also, would you want to promote any player-made events via podcast? Um, I think uh, to answer your last question, yes, we will promote um, player-made uh, events um, in the podcast. Um, if you have any, just... Uh, uh, you know, comment below and we'll mention it in the next video. Um, also, of course, we'll um, we'll advertise ours, seeing as it our, is our podcast. Um, but yeah, if you guys need any shout outs or if, if you, again, if you have any questions, we'll just um, answer them. Just comment below. Um, for your first question, what do you think the events that are posted only on forums, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Are they good and should we have more? Um, more events is always good. I, one event that I really thoroughly enjoyed was the Comet event, where they only they posted it on Facebook, but they should have done a bit more advertising for it, because not everyone has Facebook, so, and most people didn't know about it when it first came out, so they couldn't really, when they came out, and when people, when it first, you know what I mean, so, they should do a bit more advertising and put it on the main website itself before it comes out. Yeah. So, because usually they don't, they don't really advertise much stuff on the main website, and, that, and that's the first place people go to look for advertisements. They go, they think, okay, they, it's the main website, they should have an advertisement of things coming up, but that's in fact different with Panya. They put it on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff, which I think is very frustrating. Yeah, and um, even the tea times, uh, where you play against a GM or GMs, um. They don't really advertise it well, like, it just looks like another notice, you know, about an update or something that no one really reads. Um, also, speaking of Facebook events, um, last week, I think, they had, um, they had a, like, Friday the 13th event, um, and three people won, and basically on Facebook you have to type in a story, um, about, uh, I think it's, like, crew kill someone or something i don't know and you would get um these prizes and like if they advertise that even just a normal post on their website i think they would have had so many more people and i didn't even know about that one yeah